Oh my gosh. We're recording. Hey guys. I hope this is recording. We shall see. <laughs> Um, hi, I'm Olivia Manning and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to finally be doing this. Um, it's been a long time coming and yeah, so I will start by just saying a little intro into who I am, why I'm here, all that good stuff. Um, I haven't videoed myself, I think ever, so. This is going to be a cool little learning curve and also going to have fun with it. So let's see where it goes. Um, so I, a little background on me, uh, I am a creative, I've always kind of loved everything regarding art and all that stuff. I actually went to college for textile design and uh, which is kind of essentially making any kind of design that uses fabric um so whether that be like woven design print design knit design uh, i went to school for that and then i actually fell in love with print design which is essentially either making um, hand painted uh, designs and putting them into repeat and then putting them on uh, onto fabric for fashion or interiors um, or doing digital, completely computer-aided designs, and I really fell in love with that and um, went to grad school and focused on print design. I was making like lots of collections and creating different uh, concepts for every collection and just really fell in love with it and the whole process and also fell in love with like the sustainability and uh, innovation and everything like that. And now that I'm graduated and started the workforce I like felt like something was missing out of um, out of the whole process and I was like what is missing from my experience learning textiles and making collections into my current job now and currently working a normal like nine to five corporate type of job um, and I realized that I needed to do what was being called of me and that is starting my own brand and actually being able to make designs. So I am coming on here to show the process of making a brand and I thought it'd be really cool to uh, see kind of my evolution as I'm videoing and also for you guys following along. Uh, I know some of you guys are friends and family, but hopefully I'm able to also grab into the other creatives that are in this world and people who have an idea that they really want to bring to the world and starting their own brand or starting their own business. Um, and I'm a designer. I've worked in production in um, production, raw materials, things like that. So I know, I'm familiar with the process of developing fabrics and uh, designs, um, but haven't actually done the business side of it or started my own brand. So this whole vlog is really gonna be talking and like showcasing um, like the do's and don'ts and just the process of like, so that you guys can learn what I did correctly and what I maybe w hope that you guys skip out on certain things if it was a waste of time or, you know, all that good stuff. So I'm really excited to show that and share that with all of you guys. And as well as just show the process and I hope you guys like my designs. Um, I'm currently based in LA and I'm in Santa Monica and I am from uh, New York, New Jersey area. Uh, and all my designs, it's funny, they all always had like a coastal kind of California feel. And I moved out here and I just instantly knew and I loved the culture of LA and how everyone is always thinking about creating their own um, designs and really going after their true passions. And it's really inspired me to do mine. So 
Um, that's a little bit about me. And then breaking into my designs and my brand, it's gonna be called Livin. And I am really excited to, you know, show you the beginning process. I'm definitely still in the beginning process. Some of my designs are behind me right now. Um, you know, so I'll be able to show you, I'll dive into my concept later, but so far my brand is gonna be dresses and bathing suits with a very keen focus on the print designs, um, which is gonna be really fun and it's gonna be focused on like the sustainable aspect of the designs and uh, innovation and all that good stuff. So, you know, really making sure that I'm working with factories and companies that are also have sustainability in mind um, and I'm really excited. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek of like what my brand is about and then I'll dive into kind of how I got to this point right now. Um, definitely started with literally just the brand name like that's what I knew. That was the first thing that I knew and as soon as I knew that I was like okay you have the brand and as soon as I had the name I like just saw I, like it was visually just coming together of what I wanted to start my brand with and it's actually a culmination of like two or three um, collections that I did um, in school and I just knew that there was so much more to show with them and so much more to dive into and I'm really excited to be able to like dive into those again and make more prints and you know really focus on working even more and more into the different prototypes and fashion designs and um, all that good stuff. But I do want to say shout out to my friend Ruby who helped me with, um, she's a UX graphic designer and she helped me um, kind of hone in on what my aesthetic is going to be and um, what I want my website to be, what I want my brand to be known for. She actually uh, developed my logo and um, all my brand guidelines so super thankful for her I'm gonna show you guys that and then I'm gonna show you a little bit of my designs and what my brand is kind of the aesthetic is gonna be and then uh, also show you guys the production um, website that I am using to create my prototypes. Um, I am a textile designer, so I don't have as much knowledge into fashion design as like an actual fashion designer, but I do know, you know, bits and pieces of sewing, but I realize while I'm making this brand, I want it to be very successful. So I'm, you know, making sure that I'm able to hone in on my skills, which is like concept design, um, trend, color, fabrics, innovation, sustainability, and like the print designs um, and repeats and wovens and painting and that kind of stuff and kind of leave more of like graphic design and um, like actually sewing the garments to other people so that I can make sure that my skills shine in my company. Um, so that's really exciting and I'll just hop right into it. So. I have, let's see, I'll start with my brand guidelines. Um, this is my, and I can tag my friend who I'll make sure that she wants me to, but um, I'm sure she would always love to have um, new customers because she was absolutely wonderful and like it was a great process and it really helped me kind of move through, I would say, um, slight like imposter syndrome of starting a brand because I was like, who do I think I am? Like, I'm starting a brand, what? <laughs> um, and just meeting with her every week and going through what I wanted to create and kind of making their like steps and levels to creating the next part was really, really fun. So, so I actually decided to show you guys just on screen share how I kind of got this all started. Um, so working into, before we completed the brand guidelines, I actually hopped into Miro, 
which is a free app and you're able to basically collect images or put together a kind of presentation. Um, it's collaborative, so a bunch of people can have access to it. And this is the brand, M-I-R-O. And it's just like Miro.com. And I made my live-in brand presentation. Um, and I shared it with my team and the people I was working with. And there's things you can do like a timer, voting, talk track actually have not looked into these too much but you can like write down notes um to do list meeting agenda project summary workshop notes honestly really cool um so but for this it was mostly just collecting um my inspiration um this is like different ways to kind of create templates um i didn't go too far into it because i really just wanted to throw all my ideas onto this page but we can start. Um, these were kind of my thoughts on color, initial um, feelings of how I wanted it, the font to be, my logo. Um, kind of went into just, honestly, this is actually into some of my like branding potential ideas um, that I was, you know, just keeping in mind as I'm going through this whole process and just kind of throwing everything against the wall and kind of seeing what stays and what sticks. Um, so there was that. And then before we went, I kind of did this and then I went right into, you know, my main, what I'm going to be making and the aesthetic that that has. So these are two mood boards that I have. Um, this is for my invasive plants collection and um, that is based off of like the sustainability and invasive plants and I made a lot of invasive plants um, paintings of the different flowers and telling that story into a very like whimsical um, unrequited love because invasive plants are beautiful in their own native environment but not um, great for the places that they're invading because they take over those weeds so I um, kind of and I'll go more into this in another video um, where I can like dive deeper into my brand and my vision behind it and everything like that but just giving you guys um, a quick little synopsis um, so kind of tied in the whole invasive plants with unrequited and un and forbidden love um, and tying that all together with the poem to be continued on that one and then um, this is actually a mood board off of um, I did a collection off of Blue Lagoon which is a wonderful movie film um, if you've never seen it and I absolutely love the storyline the narrative um, the colors the setting everything with those and I actually created a woven collection based off of those so that's what these are um, and I feel like that these two boards and concepts actually play really well into my aesthetic and why I'm starting a brand of very sustainable and um, a storyline narrative and also playing into um, the coastal and um, kind of off the forbidden path or norm and th that's kind of what these um dresses and bathing suits are going to be so that's those and then it dives deeper into you know existing color palettes from that collection um lots of natural colors and then um and that kind of goes also into these these are some of my like main dress forms that I was going into and then these are the prints that I was working into um, so a lot of my colors were yellow orange um, some blues some greens very soft like browns kind of earth tones um, playing into that and then um, this is actually some like dresses fun prints that I was inspired by um, and still I am inspired by uh, the it's actually even grown from here, so I have to make sure I'm updating that in here. 
um, might also be using another form or format soon. So, you know, I also have um, actually physical sketchbooks that I've been working into. So I want to make sure that I show you guys those. I'll have that into another video. But, um, you know, just getting the whole vibe, some cool um, potential print onto different fabric ideas, which is can be shown here and um, some ombre ideas and um, some like placement engineering that I'm thinking about going into and then um, overall ideas um, different like painting techniques that I've really seen and thought were super cool and things I wanted to showcase um, also really interested in as you can see here um, using flowers to create um, actually like hand dyed and um, prints onto garments so you know exploring that very soon hopefully I can make a um, dyeing video where I can go into indigo dyeing and natural dyeing with you guys um, I think that would be really know who you're inspired by and you know if you find something cool that you'd want to like turn into and or that reminds you of another idea like make sure you're keeping all of those together so that that idea doesn't gone forever and then these are my bathing suits ideas so some of this is even like how like in on this on the bathing suits hanging over like a boat i thought was super cool um, different modeling shots, but also different fits of bathing suits. Um, I'm really excited to make like different sizes and different um, forms that would look great on different uh, female body types. So really looking forward to exploring that. And then, so yeah, that really helped. Um, and these are kind of like words of wisdom, cute little um, anecdotes, wallpapers, uh, merch. My merch is definitely, the ideas have definitely grown, so I'll have to update that. Um, this is definitely great to be looking at. And then these are some um, Pietra things that I've grabbed from to see if I could innovate off of those, but we'll go into that in a bit. Um, <laughs> Feel comfortable 